Christian recording artist Rich Mullins recorded a song entitled Boy Like Me, Man Like You, in which he wonders how, as a boy, he might have been able to relate to Jesus, who came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. He sings, You was a boy like I was once, but was you a boy like me? I grew up around Indiana, you grew up around Galilee. Then whimsically he wonders, well, did you grow up hungry? Did you grow up fast? Did the little girls giggle when you walked past? Did you wonder what it was that made them laugh? Did you wrestle with a dog and lick his nose? Did you play beneath the spray of a water hose? Did you ever make angels in the winter snow? In some ways, it may feel unorthodox to consider such questions. Some of us may even feel somewhat offended to think of Jesus in such a lowly position as licking a dog's nose. But Hebrews chapter 2, 17 to 18 would suggest that such musings actually lead us to a very important theological truth. It reads, Therefore, Jesus had to be made like us in every respect, so that He might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make appropriation for the sins of the people. For because He Himself has suffered when tempted, He's able to help us when we are being tempted. Jesus understands us, and because He went through such suffering and temptation, He is compassionate in His response and empathizes with our weakness, with one very important distinction. Where we fell to temptation, Jesus did not. And it is this obedience to God that makes Him strong enough to save us. His death on a cross and resurrection from the grave gives Him the authority to give salvation to you and to me. He makes us holy and removes the stain of sin from our record so that one day, in that same righteousness of Jesus, we may stand before Him, all grown up, you might say. And perhaps that is why Rich Mullins concludes his songs with these lyrics. And I really may just grow up and be like you someday. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming down to this earth and being one of us. We thank you for walking among us and experiencing all that we go through in order that you might have empathy and sympathy. But we praise you and thank you that where we were weak and fell into temptation and sin, you did not. And because of your strength and righteousness, we now can grow up to be like you as we receive your righteousness and holiness, a gift from you that you give to us so that one day, we will stand together with you in paradise. Be with us this day in Jesus' name. Amen.